Welcome back, friends. Last guy here, and it's time for... Oh, is that... That's what I want. Ravnica constructed. Okay, it's time for us to do... Magic Gathering Arena. We're going to do Azorius. And after that... Oh, yeah. Only cards from Ravnica, Legions, and Guilds? Yeah, I want that. Oh, I want that. Oh, I want that. And it's cheap to get in. Two, two fifty for that. You don't win much for it, but still, it allows us to test the decks... So we might just, the next episodes, we just do the decks in here and see how they go. Try to make better versions of all of them and see how they do on that. Like, all ten guilds. That might just be the next thing we do, since we don't have uh, best of one yet. Uh, what is there no best of ones right now? And it's just traditional and sealed right now. Okay. Well, what I want is this one, so we, it exists is what I wanted, so we'll do that one later. But for now, let's do Azorius. Azorius? Azorus, uh, Azure, yes. Okay, so we're having allegiance. Oh god, real interesting in seeing how what we can make with just Ravnica. That'll be very interesting. First, let's do this. Um. Okay, so uh, Resolute Watchdog, pretty good to have here. The uh, Precinct One, Create One One, uh, one of those. Impassioned Raiders have those. Sky Tether, not a bad one. Can't. Can't use that since we're going to be uh, not using black. Pegasus isn't that great. These Sentinel Marks are pretty good. Take those three. Jesticar's uh, Portal's pretty good. Rester Seal. Plus two, plus two on the turn. Let's go get the, the the guild cards first. Let's do that. Let's do the guild cards. And real quick, is there... Uh, white, blue. Here we go. Hallowed uh, Fountain. So this is the mixed colors, the hybrid card. Not going to use that one. All right, white and blue is over. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, here we go. Emergency powers. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library, then draw seven cards. Exile emergency powers. Cast is during your main phase. You may put a permanent card with converted mana cost seven or less from your hand out to the battlefield. I might just do this for fun. I want three. I want four of these guys. That's my. This is all very late game though. Jesus. But I. I it's too many. Too many. Two, two of them, two of them. Because it's the minus one zero is so good. That's why I want that card. Azorius Knight can't be blocked. Also not bad. Get one. Sphinx Insight. Draw two cards. You gain two life. Not bad. It's a better divination. Uh, Sphinx of Prov. This opponent cast. Uh, they target them. As, uh, get it. Senate Griffin. The Scry is not bad. Law Mage's Binding. I uh, can't attack. Yeah, this is oh, this is removal. So get those high alert creature you control assigns you kind of equal to its toughness rather than its power. Eh, Dovin's acuity and his battlefield gain to life. Recast an instant. Oh yeah, so this is uh, and draw guard. This is of course information campaign. So get those. We need instances now. Absorb counter spell. You gain through. Yeah, it's a counter spell card. It's a rare though. Warrant Warden's actually pretty good. Jinx has told me, so we'll get those. Swirling Torrent. Put our creature on top of... Uh, that's expensive, though. It's good, but expensive. Senate Guild Mage. Draw a card and discard a card. I forget what that one's called. Get one of those. Prying Eyes. Draw four, discard two. Don't need that. This will be really good with the uh, Corrosive Insight. That'll be really good. Uh, draw three cards, scry three, then draw three cards. Pretty good. It's a very expensive deck right now. We should probably hold back on more. Okay, one more fiver. There we go. Humongulus. It's a two five, but it's also... Yeah, get one. Depose, deploy. This is for the flyer deck. Tap our creature, draw a card. Four mana. Not bad. Try to do flyer in the future. Gateway sneak. No. Sphinx of foresight. Yeah. Uh, Skitter Eel, no. Eyes everywhere. How many creatures I got right now? I don't have enough creatures, do I? Yeah, I need more creatures. Also, Azorus, first try. Core Commando, no. Cutting Straight, no. Thought Collapse, kind of want to have these. So, Counter Spells. Senate, Courier, no. Clear the Mind. Eh. Arrestor's Ammunition. It's a bounce, but no. Wall of Lost Thoughts, no. Slime Bind, no. Fairy Duelist, let's see here. One, two, flashing, and just battlefield. 
Fusion opponent controls is minus two, zero, and two on the turn. That's not bad. Get these guys. Get three of them. Eh, get two of them. Two of them. Two of them. I did get two of them. Uh, essence capture. Counter target creature spell. Put a one one. It's not bad. Get that. Pateramander. Bleh. Shimmer possibility. Mm. No. No. Okay, so to the lights. Angel Grace, no. Oh, Benthic uh, Biomancer. We want these guys. Get those guys. Those will be our open. Archway Angel. Gain. Oh, no, no, no. Lumbering Battlement. And uh, for each card, exiled with it. Mm. Night of Sorrow. It's too expensive for that one. Spirit of Spire is not really using a flyer deck. I'll try to make a sp uh, flyer deck and utilize that next time, I think. Civic Stalwart. Mm. Uh, Mr. No, Hazda, no. Well, I, we got, no, no, get these guys. Get these guys. Green Trial, no. Oh, Tithe Taker. Yeah, get these guys. Summary Judgment. Two, three, two, no. Okay, I got what I want. Let me look at my creatures here. I got a good number of both, so let's go ahead and get rid of some things. Okay, so. Arrestor's Zeal. Uh, okay, one of these. Well, Resolute Watchdog's pretty good, so keep that. Sky Tether, Ben Thick Binds, I have two of those. Here, the Precinct may become relevant, not really sure. Get rid of it. Ambassador Orator, keep him. Justicar is really good. Sentinel. Oh, wait, do I have anything that takes advantage of Justicar? Uh, Ben Thick Biomancer is one. If I don't have anything that takes advantage of Justicar, it's not worth having, honestly. Senegal Mage Warrant, Forbidding Spirit. Maybe Forbidding Spirit. Now I'm not really using that util that really utilizes Jesticar. The best one for Jesticar is uh, it's better for uh, Orzhov, so we'll get rid of that. I want to have these two Tithe Takers because they're just annoying to deal with. Essence Capture, Fairy Duelist, different forms of removal. Four four token flying with vigilance. Do I just put them in the library? Or being spirits, they're just good to have. Unbreakable formation, eh, get rid of it. Thought collapse, keep those. Absorb, I, I like having multiple removals in different ways. Those acuity, I want them for the card draw. Uh, let's see here, law mages, binding, we need that. Civic stalwart, my creature's looking here. I'm gonna get rid of the stalwart. Because I got those three threes. Griffin, I want that for obvious reasons. I'm not the foresight for obvious reasons. Senate Griffin, 3-2, gets a scry. Yeah, why not? Sphinx of New Prov, yeah. Uh, Insight, I don't necessarily need that if I'm running uh, Dovin's Acuity. So, no to that. Humungulus, you know, only one of those. Precognitive, pre pre Perception, uh, Azorius Knight, get these guys as well. Emergency power is such a silly thing to do. What are we at? Mm, okay. One Sky Guard. Okay, um, need, we need these. We can get rid of one Thought Collapse or Essence Capture. I'll keep that. We can lose one Thought Collapse. We can lose one Forbidding Spirit. Resolute, Lost, ah, Resolute Watchdogs are pretty non deal, so keep those. Sky Tether, Impassion Orator, Sentinel Marks, uh, get rid of one. Now, how many instances do I have, actually? One... If I don't have at least like eight, and then forget it. Two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, mm, eight. Okay, I nine. Okay, I have just enough instances to to justify having two acuities because that's eight card draw, so that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. During my main phase. Oh, get rid of that. Just have one and maybe we'll take advantage of it. One more thing. Uh, I thought it was just any instant. No, it has to be my main phase. So I'm not going to have that many instants I'll use on my main phase. I have some, but not a bunch. Okay, one more thing. I got a bunch of card draw in this thing. Uh, okay, one more card and... How's my creatures to spells looking? Good amount of creatures. Ah, uh, shoot. 
Shoot. Um, want to keep some of these things here. Um, two life trial card in this card. We got plenty of card trials. We don't need the Senate Guild Mage. There we go. So here's how it's looking. Pretty good average. Pretty good average. So now let's go ahead and get the lands in here. So there we go. I need my uh, white blues. There we go. Any more white blue? There we go. Any more white blue? That's it. Okay, so there we are. Azorus first try. Let's see what card should we have to get this guy. Uh, he's not the center of it, but hey, put that guy. There we go. So pretty good average there. We are late game stuff can be kind of annoying to deal with. Uh, my key to victory is I don't actually know. I'm just going to be annoying to deal with. I have just a weird kind of tempo going on here. So let's get going and start to. Yeah, we're playing this in regular. Uh, just so we're testing them out, see what we think. It's really what it is, just testing out. Victory's not the most important. Now when we do the Ravnica only, oh yeah. We'll try to make our best decks and put them in there. I can't wait. Tiger, Tiger. I've seen that name before. What we got? Okay, we got... Okay. Okay, we got a Dogie. And then... Turn two Dogie. And turn three... Yeah, it's an interesting spot we got here. Yeah, we got things we can do. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Keep. This is going to be interesting. We don't have anything till turn two, though. That duels to be a good blocker at the start. Alright, so you put out a... Oh, good, good, good. One white. Put out the douche! There we go. It's a defender, so... It ain't going to be doing much. It's just going to be annoying to look at for the enemy. Alright, go ahead and put down an island. Nothing for now. Hold out for the time being. It's defender, so it can't attack. Oh, crap. Well, they're going to get going. All right. Oh, they got a bunch of mana here. My turn. Ah, uh, if only. You, you don't... Uh, so, you don't use it to... Well, you can use it to fight. You just got to be careful. Because, of course, you want to keep it for that scry. The scry is very useful. Planes. Alright, I just need... Yeah, hold on. So, let's see here. Yeah, nothing here. Enter. So, next turn, we're going to whip out the Sphinx of Foresight and use that to our advantage. Oh, they have so much mana. Something's coming. I'm going to have to use Lawn Mage's Binding on. Something big's coming. Okay, they're getting a lot of mana. Or they're just going to Blanchwood something. Which will also get Law Mage's Binding on it. Holy crap, that's a lot of mana. They still got one more mana. So they've got seven mana right now. So that's going to be a pain they're about to deal with soon enough. But for now... Sphinx of Foresight. Four of Lord, I can fly over whatever they do. That's pretty good. That'll be annoying to deal with. They could have fire cards to kill it, though. Alright, there's a 1-1 one, one I'm not going to deal with. I'll just let it through. As long as they can't kill my 4-4. Four, four. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, no! Well, that wasted him. That was a good card. Alright, so go ahead and go here. Now we can go Benthic. We can adapt it as well, but then we won't have enough to do any binding. Uh, still. Alright, let's do it. I need one more mana. Uh, do I want to adapt them? Well, they're top decking right now, so I'll adapt it. There you go. And with that, I will... Flying Vigilance? Oh, okay, that's good enough. We will get rid of... Let's get rid of the Duelist. We're not going to be able to utilize it in this situation. Next. Next. Enter. I'm just gonna get this freaking flyer. I'm not gonna fight any of these things. 
it's going to be a race in a second, and I need to start winning that race. So let it through. Let it through. Let it through. All right, it's time for a race, and we got to, well, we got things. All right, put it out. Warden. There we go. There's the warden, and the warden will put us in the lead in this race. That's what he's for. Ah, oh, that thing's here. All right, so we'll be blocking that. Uh, we ain't blocking none of that. Let it through. We're gonna do law mages binding. Oh, good, that card. We can't play both, so we'll just play law mages binding. Can't attack or block, and that ability can't be activated. So yeah, bind that. Now can't do anything. Good. Still got enough mana here. Next. Have it go. Oh, have them go. Oh, yeah, have them go. Yeah, yeah, go, go. Attack. They both go in. Yeah, I'm going to put Sentinel's Mark on it. Yeah, okay. Sentinel's Mark goes on it. There we go. That would have helped me get the, a higher race as well, but killing more things is not a bad thing. Having less on their board is never bad, as if I need to just have less things. Less things. Oh, that's gonna suck, because I have what I have. Let them through. Alright. Alright, so that'll be cool to do next turn, but for now, Law Mage is binding. Alright. Next, next, and there you go. Now we have a clear lead in this race, which is important. They're going to let it through? All right. All right. They better have something to take advantage of that. Pass. All right. It's currently a race. They have to have something planned. Oh, they're going to block the 3-4. I'm never going to hit that 2-2. Two, two. Not worried about that. QD Dovin's a QD first, and then do pre uh the next time. See, I'll do a QD first. I need one more mod to have a Zori Skyguard. That'll be really good. A Zori Skyguard would be very annoying to deal with. So they're trying to figure out what they can do here. We're just in a good spot. Let it through. No blocking. You may pass. There we go. My turn. Good. Now I can do a Zerg Sky Guard. I will not do that though, because I need to have my monitor to keep my 4 4 alive in case they go for it. So for now, Dovin's Acuity. If it gives me another land, I'll be in a good spot. Or Humungulus will be also be useful. But for now, next. Next. I have the four four. I could have the three four go, and then make them um, in in Vince uh, in. Have to make whoever gets targeted uh, indestructible. But, um, but it's risky if I do it wrong, then it gets killed. So I don't want to. If I do it wrong, then it gets killed. So we'll we'll test that for science later. We'll test it for science later. Although I assume it'd be first on the pile. Is all pass. Good thing defenders aren't required to block. That's important. Uh, no one blocks. Pass. There you go. Now if I just gave it the freaking sentinel mark, we could have won already for sure on that. Okay, that's good. All right, so now we're in a better spot because of that. Do I have enough mana after this? No, I don't. So. Next, next. Thought Collapse basically allows me to ensure that they don't uh, get me with some surprise spell right now. There we go. I'll do Precognitive at the end of their turn. Alright, yeah, it's not so bad. It's not a flyer. They don't have no mana to make it into a flyer, so I'm good. I need seven mana in to tap it. We're good. They currently have five mana. They don't have enough mana to make it a flyer. 
And they surrender, yeah. So that first one went pretty well there, not bad. See how round two goes. Not a bad start with the 15 and 1. Alright, go again. Good start for Azorus. Good start for Azorus. Aggressive aggro decks look to win quickly with cheap creatures before the opponent can set up an effective defense. Yep. I'm really hyped for uh, just doing Ravnica Constructed. And it's not expensive to get into. You don't get much gain if you win, though. You're really playing it because you want to play that specific type. So it is a use of gold. We're not going to gain gold from that. Alright, already here. We can, yeah, we can do what's here. It's not a b flashy start, but it is something we can do. So let's go. Turn two Orator, turn three Forbidding Spirit or Fairy Duelist, and hope for more after that. They mulliganed one. Okay! We're gonna count that as a win. We're gonna count that. I'm gonna count it. I'm gonna count that. I'm counting that. I'm about you, but I'm gonna count that. <laughs> Go again. Alright, Luna Lockless. Alright. Here we go, here we go! No, I've never fought a dev. Keep hoping for that. Not good, Mulligan. At least it's playable, I guess. Alright, keep. Tithe take a turn two. Sky Tether, if needed. It's a better demotion is what it is. Alright, that'll be good. I just need three mana now. Warrant's a nice bounce. Like, it's a more annoying bounce. I'm not sure what you would call it. Just tapped. Next turn is Tithe Taker. Ah, crap, enchantment deck. Uh-oh, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. We're probably better off... No, that targets, so it won't work out. It'd be good if we could just get rid of that 2-3, because this is a good card. It's a really good card for 2 mana. That's why it's a rare. We're going to be in trouble with that. We have to... The thing is, Law Mage's Binding still targets it. Anything targeting it gives it a 1-1. Uh, a one -one. Still, 1-1's one not bad, so I shouldn't be too worried about it. So, we can still... We can still bind it. We'll have to worry about the 1-1, one -one, but at least we're not worrying about that 4-4. Four -four. Or we could just wait for now and not do anything just yet. But I have nothing else I can do. So, let's just bind it. Less potential. He gets a 1-1, one, one, but now it won't bother us anymore. So I'm not so worried about it. Still, I can't defend against the 2-2 the two, two and a 2-1. I don't want to lose the Tithe Taker. At least not yet. I'll actually lose him early and I can do things with it. I got Thought Collapse ready. One more turn and I can get freaking Warden ready. So no attacking yet. Could also demote something, but uh, what's worth doing Sky Tether on at the moment? Nothing yet. So wait for something worth putting it on. So the best thing is, you give a creature Defender. Oh, that's about to happen. All right. We're gonna give it Warrant. We're gonna give it a Warrant. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to. Hold on a second. Yeah, okay. Oh no, I need this card. Forget it. Let it through. Let it through. I'll tether it instead. I'll tether it. My warden is what's going to be useful here. Alright. Comes in tap. That's fine. Next turn will be warden. Sky tether here. Blocks the 4-4. Four four. Now it can't do anything against me. It's only got defender. I'm not going to attack over it, so that's fine. Rely on my one flyer with warden to do something. Huh? So that's what's going to happen here. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, counter that. Go and counter that. Yeah, not letting that happen. Oh, we got rid of some good cards to get rid of. Especially that one. That's the important one right there. Alright. We can now do Addendum Reward. Ah, they could have things to deal with it. But... I'm in the spot where I have to worry, so go ahead and do a uh, Precognitive Perception. I don't need that much mana. I don't need that much mana. I'm already at six. Go ahead and do that. Orator, yeah. There we go. Draw three. Not bad. Not bad at all. Forbidding Spirit will be for some things. We want Sphinx of Foresight next. 
Uh oh. That's a problem. So they get a 3 3 if I target it with this. Ugh. Get the Sphinx out first. Get it out. They might have a plummet. Actually, that's why we should get Warden out first. Because they might have a plummet. So Sphinx goes out first. If they have a plummet, they'll take out that one. So they don't take out their better Sphinx. I might want to just put this on that. On the 2-3. Just so I don't have it to worry about it. Ah, uh, they did themselves. All right, well that's a problem. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. All right, uh, no block, let it through. I now need to put some things on the board to stop this. Oh, good. Uh, that in, that's an instant, not an aura. So that is going to be good. So I only have six mana though, so I can't do everything. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop that sucker up. Oh, attacking or blocking. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, well, when that happens. Uh, so, we can't do that yet. We can do Orator? No, we can do this, and then we can do that. So, we'll go ahead and whip out the Sphinx. There we go. Next. Alright, have the 4-4 four, four attack. The other 4-4 four, four can block, that's fine. Next. And when that 4-5 attacks, we will uh, warrant it. Or we can just warrant a 2-2 two, two or a 3-3, two, three, three, but I'd rather warrant that 4-5, so it's not as buffed. But that thing will just come back out the next turn, so that's the problem as well. Luminous Bonds, that's a problem. If they Luminous Bonds the 4-4, four, four, I'd be in a better spot. Alright. Now I can do Warrant. You're under arrest, get the hell back into your cell. Alright, I get the Scry, Dome's Acuity, not bad here. Okay. So we get to do Domes Acuity. Do it. <sighs> Draw two and get a card. Another Tithe Taker. Won't be all that great right now. Um, it's got Flash, so I can hold on to that. Let's go ahead and go ahead and attack. I'll use the Tithe Taker to... do things. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do this for now. I should have done Forbidding Spirit. We'll do Forbidding Spirit. We have to do Law Mage's Binding just yet. So Forbidding Spirit. So now it'll be more expensive for them to go after me, so I'll do that. They gotta use Mana, so at least these tokens won't attack me just yet, and I get to hit in for more. And it's becoming a bit of a race now. Should go Orator, Tithe Taker, if I get another mana. Luminous Buns, oh, uh, Lum uh, what's Pyromancer's Cage, I mean. So that hurts us a little bit, because we don't have a flyer now. So, Impassioned Orator. Tithe Taker. I'm just going to need more freaking uh, flyers, that's all. And nothing at the moment. I got a bunch of defense, but nothing else. I put out that guy now. I can defend a lot of things with their lack of cards. Okay, I don't remember what Johnny's last stand do. Four four with flying? Oh good, I can deal with that. I'm happy about that. And I know they can't stop, so I'll just go ahead and kill it. It's fine. Because I can get rid of the four four. Next turn I'll get rid of it, of course. So I do this, and get rid of the 4-4. So many enchantments this game. There we go, next. Next. My big problem is I don't have a flyer. Any more flyers in here. I use both my flyer things and my third flyer. So, oh, I only have, I have one more flyer. I have one more flyer. Here's the problem they have, but they're going to get another 3-3 three, three eventually. My assumption is they have something they can put on it. Oh no. Well, there's a bunch of tutus now. That's a problem. This doesn't work on things like that. 
They're gonna have really good knights soon. Let's do it. Tithe Taker will defend that. Because they have knights, so those knights will get buffed, so we gotta get rid of these knights in ASAP. Afterlife? I forgot about Afterlife! Oh good, that's an advantage. I forgot about Afterlife. Now I have something I can do again. Next. I have a 1-1 one, one flyer, and I have another 1-1 one, one flyer coming up. Okay, end turn. I'm going to rely on them not getting an aura enchantments for the 2-3, basically. That's all I can rely on. They're waiting for the 4-4s. Four oh god, I have too many of these right now. Get going. When they're 4-4s, four four, so I just have to let them through, basically. Alright. Now they're... it's a 4-3. I was going to say, does it not count the other one? There it is. So they're going to both go in. I can't block them. Question is, do I block that 2-3 or no? Because it's only temporary until end of turn, right? Yeah, until end of turn. But they have deadly right now is the problem. I have to rely on later cards. We're going to have to just deal with this. So we'll go ahead and just bind one of these guys. Bind him. It's a 3-3 coming up, but still bind it. Oh, that doesn't count? Oh, mind? I've always uh, had the assumption those would count. Alright. Well, that helps me out. So, now they can't do anything. So, I had to do that earlier. Whoops! Whoops! So, I'm in a bad spot now after that. Next... So now I have to sacrifice, um, okay, so we're in a bad spot here. So I had to do it beforehand, but now I know I can do my own auras. It's only when they do auras on it. So I've always held back because I didn't know that. And now that I know that, okay. Mm, if that's a combat trick, I lose. A combat trick. There we go. I need a really good card right now. That dog helps a little bit. That dog does help. Gives me life. There we go. Next. Next. 2 one one's attack. Go. Next. End turn. Uh, they just have to hit me with everything and I lose. Uh, I have to block the 2-2 two -two basically. Oh, that's a problem. There goes doing that. So no matter what, I lose. Because I have to block two different creatures this turn. I have no choice but to defend two different creatures. So I have to defend that. And then the orator dies. Oh, no, he doesn't. So block. So they're going to block. Did I do that right? No, I didn't do that. I'm going to do a different thing. Still, there you go. I could have kept the Orator alive, but I did it wrong. Next, my turn. That is not going to save me, but it will help. He comes in. Adapt him. There we go. Actually, it might help. It does not help. That is a land card. Wow, I got... Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11... 11... Dang, I got almost half my land cards. Ooh, I needed less land to show up in my hand. That's too bad. That is... Uh, okay, next. Next. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay, we got to keep our spirits around for... Uh, two, three... Okay, yep. Yeah, no attacking right now. Enter. Gotta remember, that guy's got Defender, so I, my ground can't attack. There they are. Okay, pass. And this is why I kept my flyers alive. Okay, so three things are attacking. So the 2-2 two, two kills the 2-2. Two, two. The 1-3 versus the 2-3. Two,
And then a 1 1 against that. Okay, there we go. So here's what's going to happen we block. Then we go ahead and. Uh, yeah, 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 don't sacrifice. Just keep that. Okay, there we go. Now it stays alive. We killed one thing, now there's two things. So we can block those two things, then we only have one more turn left. I really need an instant right now so I can get more card draw. Wow! Oh my god, my land just keeps having him. Are you kidding me? Well, good game. Good game. We lost. That's it. That's game. Nothing I can do. We block this one and then we die next turn. There's nothing I can do. It's over. There's nothing more I can do. I did all I could. Pass. Alright, so we go ahead and block uh, this. And we block it. Got a block. Uh, we keep the 1 1 alive. Will that mean anything? Let's see here. Uh, the 1 3 is better than the 1 1, so there we go. Pass. I need to put a creature down that I can use. If I don't get a creature, it's over. I got a creature that's actually kind of good. Alright. Put him in. That's what makes him effective. Alright, next. Next. And turn. Dog can't attack. I thought it was over. We might have a chance here. They need to buff the 2-3 or have some sort of spell they can use. Yeah, they're passing. Sentinel's Mark, that's kind of really important. Uh, put down the planes. Next. The 3-3 three, three attacks. Does this give Vigilance? No, just lifelink. Not enough to win either, so... Uh, do I want to hold back or attack? Uh, obviously I can't... I can't attack. <laughs> I don't have enough to win the fight, so we have to hold back for now. If I rush the flyer sooner, could I have gotten the kill? Probably. Too bad on me on that one. End turn. So they need a removal to win, and I need something else to stop. There it is! Okay. Okay. Right, that helps a lot. If they do a removal, I'll kill it, basically. Okay, here's the thing we can do. We can go in with uh, lifelink. Get 4 HP, we can survive their attacks. Alright, well, let's take a gamble. Let's do it. Creature gets 1, 2, and Vigilance. Oh, the Vigilance! I didn't read the Vigilance part. I'm an idiot. I was looking for it because I could have sworn I had Vigilance. And I can counter whatever they try to do to stop my guy. So next. Next, he goes in. Next, he attacks. Next, and he's got Vigilance. That's the part I'm like, I could have sworn, and I just didn't read it. Hey, Pan. We're in a very intense match. They have four cards. They have something they can do to stop me. They have to. I've got, I have a counter spell. That's what's important. Azorius. We're trying Azorius. And it's looking all right right now. I thought it was over. We're still alive. I can't believe it. Oh, they surrendered. All right. Wow. Woo, we won that game. Are you kidding me? Okay, if we've won three games in a row, let's do one more. Okay, so if we lose this one, it doesn't count. And if we win this one, it counts. <laughs> I can't believe the Zorius deck's working out. I wasn't expecting that. It's like a kind of flyers, but also have another things deck. There's a flyers deck you can do here with the Thopters. Alright. Um, we have things we can do, but it's not great. We can make the doge even better. Uh, let's do it. Fourth game, we're doing really well. Let's do a bad open. Doge looks at you. He wants to know what you want. Ramp, y'all. Oh, God, we're fighting Ramp. Good thing I can bind it. Yeah. Alright. Next. Now I need some mana. 
I'm fighting ramp with not much land. Hot balls. Alright, well, we're gonna want to take care of that. We'll use the rest of the zeal, probably. Uh huh. Oh, great. Well, we're keeping Law of Mages binding for that stuff. Pass. Pass. We gotta use the dog to deal with that. We need to use the dog to deal with that 4-3. Uh, next, next, next. He can't attack. He's a defender, so... Doesn't count as... Gr it counts as green, so one more turn. Oh, God. Next turn, he comes out, and we are immediately binding that Gigantosaurus. Instantly binding that Gigantosaurus. All right. Pass. Blocking. Block. Arrest your zeal. Pass. Dog kills it. It's a good dog. That's a good dog. Oh, good. All right, we got mana. All right, so this turn I can cast something. Next turn I'll uh, do a Law Mage's Binding. So this one. Flying Vigilance, 4-3 spells your opponent cast that target. Yeah, okay, do it. It's a good card. The Flying 4-3 so I can get over the Gigantosaurus if they decide to use it. They have enough mana to use Gigantosaurus. They have more than enough mana to whip out Gigantosaurus. There it is. It doesn't have haste, so don't have to worry about it. It will be binded next turn. I mean, it will be bound right now. They have no mana to stop me. They're also green, so they couldn't stop me anyway. There it is. It is now bound. I love Gigantosaurus, but there you go. Here's the problem. Gigantosaurus is on the board, which means Galta, if Galta is in their hand, I'm in trouble because Galta is cheap enough now because Galta gets cheaper if you have some big buff creature on the board. So at any point, Galta can show up, which means I need to get another one of my binding spells. Instead, that one came out. All right. I don't have enough to deal with that card. I don't have enough to deal with that card. That's going to require everything I have to beat. All right. It's going to require everything I have to beat it, and that is perfectly fine. Let's go. I can defeat it with this, with all three of these cards. All three of these cards are what I need to beat it, and I have enough mana for the dog. So here we go. Next. They have Vigilance? Yeah, they have Vigilance. So go ahead and attack. The Vigilance is the important part. I sacrifice everything to stop the Tyrant. I have to sacrifice everything to stop the Tyrant. There it is. The only thing that can beat me is if they buff the Tyrant. That's it. They're gonna buff the Tyrant? Alright, everyone tries to stop the Tyrant. Oh yeah, they pay two for that. Okay, here we go. Everyone tries to stop the Tyrant. Everyone breaks the block, block the Tyrant. I don't think they have anything they can do with three, two green to buff that thing even more, do they? Is there a card that you can... No? Okay, there it is. Now, dog sacrifices. Makes her indestructible. It's still enough damage to kill it. Can they respond? No. There we go. It's dead, and my flyer is still here. It's indestructible this turn. There's Galta! I knew it was coming! Now I need something to deal with Galta. I currently have nothing to deal with Galta, which means... I need to do Sentinel's Mark just so I can survive the next Galta attack. The next two Galta attacks. That's all I can do. So that's what's going to happen. So we do Sentinel's Mark. This will buff up my new prov enough that they can do some good damage here. There it is. They attack. And now it's a very scary race. Because Galta kills me in two turns. I have to block Galta with something. Anything. I have to block Galta no matter what. Another Gigantosaurus! Oh my god, they got two Gigantosauruses. Okay, we kind of lose this one. Two Gigantosauruses! Not enough mana to be in, do anything that can stop that. That guy can't do anything. This bird can block one of them. This one doesn't have trample. That one does. If the bird had haste, I could maybe survive. Or if any... Oh, this one gives me life. 
So the problem is the Gigantosaurus, because I can survive Galta, I can't survive the Gigantosaurus. So still do it. This is our best chance at opening up things. We get a land, that does not help me. So the Sphinx of New Prov goes, they attack. And now it must block the 1010, not the 1212, obviously. The question is whether or not they use their one. If they use their one and their these guys, no, they did that instead. Okay. Oh, it gives everyone trample, doesn't it? Yeah, that's the win. That's the win right there. I needed another. If I had one more uh, way to bind a creature, I could survive Galta by binding the 1010. And then we could do some more, but we just didn't have enough. This is what ramp does. And that's that's how ramp works. Simple as that. If I had my other decks, we'd still be good, but we did pretty good with the Zorus. Pretty good with the Zorus. So good game, there you go. Because the problem with that deck is just removal, and I like removal. Just didn't have the right ones for it. Other thing that would have helped is if I had um If I had, uh, what's it called? Like, if I had my kill decks, I'd be fine. If I had counter spells, I'd be fine as well. Just didn't have counter spells. The other problem is I had to sacrifice everything to stop that 7 6. So they're doing, like, a, just a big, beefy creature green deck, which is gonna work out in free play, but ain't gonna work out anywhere else. Especially if I was running some of my killer decks. But still, the Azorus deck did pretty good. So that felt great. And next time, uh, oh wait, I've made another deck, didn't I? Persistence. We gotta do this for giggles next time. That'll be that for next time. So that right there is the game for now. I had fun with watching. That's what's all about it. Having fun. Come by and see you next time.